Hi everyone, with Kelvin here. So let's discuss about Biweekly Contest number three. Analyze user website visit pattern. So you are given um, three array, username, timestamp, and website. And this is basically a history log, like which user on what time visit um, what website, right? And we're being asked to return like the most common behavior of user visiting a website. So, um, the question will hard code it into a three list, right? Um, the list of three, and so the list of three is not necessarily uh, a sequence of it. Um, the question is uh, probably a bit hard to understand. You probably can read it after um, watching this video, or you can pause and watch the video first and uh, the question first. I mean, so yeah, um, let's take a look on the test cases here. So, Joey have three website visited three website home about and career and James visited um, four sequence home card maps and home but actually um, in this kind of sequence actually you, we can produce a lot of um, three sequence like home card home and then home map home and then um, card map home and so on right so it doesn't need to be a like um, uh, immediate sequence like we can skip the maps during analysis like it can be home cut home because uh, we want to ignore the maps something like that so yeah um as we can see the most common sequence here is home about career and then home about career because uh, home about career is pattern is being visited by two person and let's say um, James have home card about and career so that will count also as home about career too because home card about and career we can have one sequence is home about and career too even though it have something in the middle right and another condition here is it need to be like psychographically smaller if we have a same number of frequency for a sequence let's say let's say home about and career having two and then home card and map also having two so the, the question become how we decide which one is the output so it say the output need to be compared from first word so first word is the same then we compare the second word so second word about lexic lexicographically is smaller than card so we should return um, up, um, the first sequence instead of second one um, based on lexicographical order of um, comparing the first string, second string, and third string. Yeah, so how are we going to solve this problem? This is basically a um, very brute force problem, I would say. So, first I create a physics class, which um, it's not really necessary to create, but um, I just want to do a sorting actually, which you can actually do it by um, separate. Um, doing it on, it on each of the array but yeah i decided to merge it into one object before the sort so i sort it by timestamp um, just to make sure it's an historical order and then i create a hash map called user journey um, basically a user and a sequence of website it, um, they visited he or he visited and then we look through the entire visit right and then um we add the user journey for each of the user. So list of string is um, um, for one user, right? So if it's there is no user registered there in the user journey, then we create the user and then initialize an empty list. And after that, we add the history in, right? The history of what website he visit. So yeah, and then um, candidate output means. Um, the list of history of three, which is a candidate and the frequency itself. So yeah, from the user journey values, user journey values is the history itself. We don't care about the user. User is basically just for grouping. At the end, we care about the website, not the user. So that's why only the values is being extracted out here. So from those values, we generate all the possible three combinations. So three combination, I just hard coded um, I, J, and K for the entire list and then take the I, J, K. So we just make sure J is larger than I and K is larger than J and then we take every possible value of it and then we mark it as a set. Right, so 
we won't have the same um, three website pattern um, because we already validated using a set right so yeah that is generate three we get a set of um, three website as a history and then yeah we just um, those candidate output which is the history we add it we add one every time we found the same one right so at the end um, yeah we will have a max candidate right max candidate basically is a list of history with the highest frequency so I have a max counter also so if max is smaller than the number of frequency currently we have then it means we need to reset the max candidate data and then re um, remember the new maximum and if the frequency is the same it means we have multiple candidate like I said um, probably we have um, um, two kind of pattern with um, same frequency of user visiting it right so in that case we add up the max candidate and then after that um, basically we look through all the max candidate and then make sure like so I, I'm using a string builder and append it using a space just to do a comparison comparison on the first string second string and third string because space um, value of ASCII is actually smaller than um, any of the alphabet so yeah it's okay for us to use a uh, space actually if you want to code it in real like you compare the first list if the same you com compare the second list and if the same the you compare the third list but um, yeah it's just a preference like I'm too lazy to write it so I append it into one string and then do the comparison directly there so if um, comparison wise O is like larger than the new string candidate then we replace O with the new string candidate and of course we remember the output as a list because they expect the output as list not a space right so yeah and then after that we return the output so yeah that's it for this question um, yeah it's it this is the longest question with like yeah